Today I'm going to be building a $50 solid wood minimalist style bed frame. So let's get started. So the lumber is going to be just 2x4s and 1x4s. Really keeping it simple. So I'm going to start by cutting my 2x4 side rails and then I'll cut all my bed slats that will go uh, perpendicular to those and I'll get all the lumber cut and set up and then we'll come back to it. So I got all my wood cut and I had to make some decisions here. First I had to look up the size of a twin bed. I found that they range from 38 by 74 to 39 by 75. So they're in that range. I chose a 38 by 74 based on some of the measurements we had in our own house on our own bed frames. I cut my two side rails to 74 inches long. I actually made them 74 and a quarter because I wanted them just a hair long. I got I believe 13 slats here that are 38 inches long. I got four two by fours that are 12 inches long. These will be the legs. Again, I had to make a decision on how tall I wanted the bed. I'm going with 12 inches. It's not gonna be 12 inches off the floor though. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do. And then I got two 33 inch boards based on the measurements I got for these. So 38, and you'll see how that's gonna all work out. So th there it is, 74, 12, 38, and 33. And believe it or not, that should make a bed. So all we gotta do is start shaping it and putting it together. This bed is gonna be super simple, but I want the legs to fold. I'm not gonna just screw them in tight. Right now I'm just positioning my legs on the side rail. This will make sense when you see it, but I marked my pivot to be center three quarter inches back from the edge of this board. So that makes sense. If that board wasn't, was that wide, that'd be the center of it. I put it here. The leg's actually gonna be like here. So I just kind of picked a spot. This isn't too important for me. Just, I picked a good spot. And I'm gonna be drilling through here into that wood so that I can get it lined up exactly where I want it. Then I'm gonna rotate this on the pivot and figure out the next step. So now I kind of have a, a pivot and I will be drilling that all the way through, but I have my layout, you see? This is a three quarter inch dowel. Now I kind of have a pivot point so I can lay out my legs the way I want them and a 45. If I can get one of these done, it's something I can mimic on the other oh, four. Yeah. Oh wait, that's where they intersect. Okay, okay, I got it. I got what I'm doing. I know, I always overcomplicate things, but it's a simplicity. It's a complicated simplicity. So I'm gonna be cutting out this whole chunk. Now that I got all my legs marked out, I'm gonna start cutting. I have my notch for the side, but then I also put a rounded part in the bottom here. This is gonna be the bottom of the foot. I just want it round so that even if they're not perfect, they'll sit on the floor nice and flat. So that's the basic shape that we're going for. Again, I'll cut out the rest. We'll show you when we're done. Okay, so I just finished sanding up all these legs. They're looking a lot better. They're not perfect, but it's pretty good. And when I came in and I was lining them back up to do, to do the next step, I realized that I had dr drilled one hole in the wrong place. Every other hole was right, but this one was an inch too far over. So I drilled a new hole and I plugged the other one with a piece of wood. Okay, so I marked out these. Now I gotta cut out those. I think after I cut these notches out, I'll be ready to start putting this really together. So 
So now we are ready to put it together, I think. I'm just drawing a little bit of radius on these edges so we don't have sharp points on the ends. This is looking a lot better. This is looking really good. We've got these edges cut off. as I did on the top and I'm going to be drilling some holes, gluing this here to these. So even though I haven't used screws anywhere else and I would love to stay pure on this and just have no hardware, um, this piece of wood happens to be warped and I just don't want it winging out. So for the sake of keeping it straight, I'm going to go ahead and screw this one on. This is going to have side to side stability to the legs. They're very solid now. And it gives them a place to lock in here. Is that squeaky for you? The bed is done and I'm so happy with it. Um, I came into this project never having built any real furniture before and I just had a kind of a vision, a plan, something simple and we really pulled it together exactly like I envisioned so I'm happy. Basically it's a very bare bones minimalist style skeletal bed frame. We just wanted the basics but we didn't want it to be ugly so two by four rails, one by four top, super cheap. This whole project was under $50 and we use pretty nice wood. Now the way I designed this is so that the legs can fold and it has a couple of purposes. First is that if we wanted a low bed, let's say um, this bed is actually going to be for our son. This is his first real bed. He's coming out of the toddler bed and into the grown-up bed. So if we want to put it low so he's not rolling off and getting hurt, we could start it out like this right on the floor. Still lots of ventilation for the mattress to breathe. Um, we, we also put the slat spacing um, pretty close together so that it could support a mattress or futon without a box spring. We're not big fans of box springs because they're just more stuff. It's more stuff you gotta buy that doesn't really serve a purpose. So we'd prefer to just get a mattress 
and throw it right on here. Now the other purpose of the legs folding underneath is for transportation and storage. If we wanted to move this uh, frame out of the bedroom or you know anywhere, uh, it's easier when the legs are out of the way. So there it is. If we want to raise it up off the floor, they just, it's squeaky. They just swing out like that and just stop right there. Luckily, you only have to do that once, so you don't have to worry about that squeak, but I guess I could have waxed the wood first if I wanted to. So there it is, and now the bed is off the floor. So it's about 10 and a half inches off the floor to the top of the frame. No, actually 10 and three quarters. Still, it's a low bed if you only had a mattress, but that's what we like. Super solid. What I also like about these legs folding out is that I put them so they're at an angle and it gives a lot of stability instead of an upright leg where you're relying on screws to hold it in place. These are like really solid because of that angle. And this piece gives it support this way so it doesn't, the legs don't rock side to side and get loose. So it's actually a really solid wood frame. I wish we had a mattress to put on it, but we don't right now. So we're gonna- We'll be to... showing that once we do the room. Yeah, we'll have that all in the room reveal. We're in the middle of renovating our son's room and this is gonna be part of it. So you'll see it all put together with the bedding and everything when that's done. Yeah, it's pretty solid actually. I can sit on it and it doesn't go anywhere, actually. <laughs> <laughs> there is no wiggle to it, so I'm happy about that. It's pretty solid. Rounded the corners so nobody would bump into any sharp edges. Sanded it all out and it's awesome looking. Yeah, this really fits our style. Where, I like it. Where it's clean, it's real wood. It's just the basics. It's functional, but it's not ugly, you know what I mean? It's actually like yeah, kind of cool looking too. And we're gonna be putting felt on the feet. Right. Now I did try just as a personal experiment of not using any fasteners. I wanted to see if I could make the whole bed frame out of just wood. And I got pretty far. And that's what I was doing when I was doweling this. I drilled holes and I glued dowels in to just hold the wood from shifting. And there's wood glue underneath that's gonna fasten it permanently. It worked really good. I would have chosen a different dowel if I was gonna do it again. Like oak. Yeah, instead of poplar. But it worked pretty good. But if I had to do this whole bed again, I would probably just go with screws. I just wanted to challenge myself and see if we could make a bed without hardware. Just all wood, a very natural, pure bed. And we realistically could. I did cheat at the end and I used screws down here because this board had a, a lot of warp in it. Um, and some of these did too, so they, if they have a twist or something, you know, the dowels don't pull it down, they just hold it side to side. But because these boards always have downward pressure on them, they're not going anywhere. And, yeah. And even this, it's held in with the dowel, and that's my mess up, and that's it. Just holes, dowels, and then a dowel going down to keep that from sliding out. If I was doing it again, screws would just speed up the whole process so fast. If I just screwed all those in and it would be done. One of the things we like to do sometimes is just challenge ourselves for no like hard reason. It's kind of like our paper technique where we're gluing paper on our wall. We just wanted to see if we could get away with not painting our walls. We ended up painting our walls, but you know, yeah. it was a challenge. And that's kind of what we were doing here. Just seeing, because sometimes if you challenge yourself, it helps you grow and learn mentally, learn new ideas, try new techniques. We just thought it'd be fun to see if we could do it. Um, there's no benefit to using dowels over screws. So you like it? Mm-hmm. It's awesome. I think since it came out okay and we're happy with it and it actually works, we're going to be making another one probably for Belle's room. Right now she's just on a metal twin bed frame that we actually found in our garage when we moved in. Mm -hmm. And we threw a piece of plywood on the metal frame to support the mattress and that's, that's all it is. Believe it or not, we were considering buying another metal frame for Maverick's room, but we decided to go ahead and make one, and I'm happy we did. A metal frame and a piece of plywood would have cost more than this, which was under $50, and that's pretty good for a bed. Yeah. 
There may be a few things will change on Bells, but that's, this is a good starting point. It was an awesome learning experience for me. Um, we're just DIY, you know, trying, learning, doing things, trying to, trying to get ahead. I've never made anything like this before, so this was fun. So anyway, I guess we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this bed. I think it came out really cool. I hope it inspires you. We're not trying to tell you how to do it, but just trying to inspire you guys to uh, come up with your own ideas. Maybe you could take something away from this or at least just enjoy watching us build. I guess we're going to have another video coming soon, but until next time, take care. Bye.